Welcome to Whispers. Southwest Governance offers a firm stand on open grazing. To curtail open grazing and its attendant consequences, governors of the Southwest Geographical Zone of the country have advanced the need for both state governments and the federal government to support cattle breeding. The support, according to the governors, could come in the form of government establishing designated grazing areas, setting up feeding mills, among others. The chairman, Southwest Governors Forum, Arakuri Rutimia Kiridulu, cited this while briefing journalists on the outcome of the meeting of governors, traditional rulers, and security chiefs held at Oyo State Governors Office Ibado. In sum, Akari Dulu said government, government at the various levels must devise ways to change the practice of open grazing by cattle breeders. Akari Dulu said, we discussed that as we are supporting other areas of farming, like rice farmers and others, the need for government to support cattle breeding is now. And one of the ways we can support cattle breeding is to change the ways and means that cattle breeders are adopting now. So you can find designated grazing areas where you can graze, you can have feed mills where you can feed. You do not have to trek with your herd from far. But things that will lead to open grazing in these modern times must be looked at and at the state and federal government in particular should give support as much as we can. <laughs> oh my word. So it's just they're just seeing it, it, it's 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 uh, a <laughs> they're just seeing paparazzi back and forth. So they're throwing it back to the federal government that um, if you support them, ah huh? yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. President Alonga Kerry Dulu at the meeting where governors carried fire me ekiti that for building ogo, muiga uyitola oshu and host governor shiyi makete. The roll call of others present include Oni Ofife, Oba Adeye Yogusi, Alafi Ofoyo, Oba Lamidi Adeyemi, Olubato of Yibado, Oba Sali Adetuje, Akaribu of Remo, Oba Babatu De Ajayi, the Olubo of Uboland, Oba Frederick Akinwiton, Olubo of Uwilegbo, Oba Francis Alao. Also in attendance are Deputy Inspector General of Police, David Folawiyo, Oye Commissioner of Police Ngozi Onodeko, Garrison Commander, 2nd Division of the Nigerian Army, Revider General Abde Soji Ogushuba, Top Chiefs of the Nigerian Security and Civil, Civil Defense Corps, Nigerian Immigration Service, and the Air Force. Chief of Staff to, to President Muhammad Abrari Ibrahim Gambari. Inspector General of Police Mohammed Adamo and the Director General of State Service Yusuf Bichi, we who were expected at the meeting were asked. Of course, naturally, uh -uh. naturally, of course, naturally, <laughs> naturally, they will come up with an excuse. Let's find out. The absence was attributed to bad weather, hmm. which disallowed them from being able to board their flight from Abuja to Ibado. For the meeting, typical. Speaking further on discussions at the meeting, Akiri Jello pointed to concerns about continued influx of foreign harassment unchecked into the country owing to the nation's porous borders. Noting the tendency for foreign herders, uh, and you know, they buy into this. You, you, uh, you two are buying this foreign herder story. It's all bull. It's all bull. With foreign herders, when they are claiming they are their brothers and sisters, when they are claiming they are, they are from the country, hmm. keep deceiving yourself. Noting the tendency for foreign herders to be behind the invasion no. of, um, of, of, of firms and clashes with farmers, the meeting held that there was need to tighten the nation's borders. <laughs> I knew it. I knew, not, I knew nothing is going to come out of this their meeting. I know they're gonna push it back to them. Then they will push it. They keep pushing it back and forth. Uh, okay, I can't really do how that. We all agree that our borders have become too porous, 
and that we need to do something urgently to prevent foreign herdsmen from coming into the country without any form of caution because the number of them have come in with their heads and what they do is of concern to us. But they came on invitation. I said, Bala invited them, calling them for money from Senegal, saying that um, Bala and Buari said that um, the country is theirs, let them come. They don't need anything. So she come and take their own and she come and settle in Nigeria. Mm, they did that when they closed the borders, when they closed off the borders in the southwest. They opened the border up north, telling them to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. We all believe that our borders need to be checked and we need to tighten our borders so that all those foreigners from Nigeria Republic and those beyond bordering states don't come in with their heads and destroy our firms. You people are not ready. When you are ready, you do the needful. You will do the needful. On forest management, do you want the governor said the Southwest governors aligned with the decision of the National Economic Council that states should manage and preserve their forests. We all agree that the time is now that we support the decision of the National Economic Council about forest management and that we believe that all the states should be in position to manage their forests and that will give enough room for you to determine who is there, what purpose are they serving, and where you have people illegally. The state should be able to take some steps so that you can preserve our forests. Akiri Jolu added. So, so what is the cocoa? What is the pinpoint of of this um, killing? What is the solution? You see any practical steps being taken? Because all this is talk, talk, talk. I don't see anything here. This is not giving me anything. As far as I'm concerned, this is for the show. Busy doing, busy doing nothing. Busy doing nothing. Mm. 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 Go to ya. <laughs> Talk about the boiling points. Ah ah. Hmm. Talk about the Hmm. It's easy for you people to sit down there in your cozy corner and say that because you are not feeling it. Even with the shoes, knows where it pitches because the masses are the ones feeling it. Somebody whose child, whose wife was raped, whose daughter was raped, whose son was killed, or whose husband was was rendered handicapped mm. they feel the pain more they know what is what what is on ground they know what is on ground so hmm. i'm watching it with dd i'm watching it with dd <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so what did they say uh their farm stand on open grazing Mm, but they are still grazing openly. The same porous border, but the border up to now is still porous. Nothing is done. So, defend yourself. Listen to the Minister of Defense. Defend yourself whichever way you can. Whichever way you can. So, mm, that is it. Mm. I knew nothing good is done. I knew nothing. Nothing's going to come out of there. The paparazzi meeting, yeah, but at least they see them doing something, they are all sitting down. Mm. The people that called the meeting, they, they, they didn't show up. Bad weather, mm. okay. The weather will continue to be bad. Hmm, <laughs> that's okay. That is all they do. When it is southwest, the weather will be bad, they won't come. But if it is not for them to go meet with the northern governors, for them, whatever, they will be there and on time. So and you're saying we are one. Are we one? I don't know. Watching in 3D do so. <laughs> ah, until I come your way again. Bye.